seen your BFF, yes. so smart guy? Yes, when you walked in, <laughs> I'm looking at my friend today. It's more like big sister for me. Uh, I, I mean, for real, like, you, you. you've had a long, extensive... First of all, we got to welcome Essen, Essence Atkins to the show. Good morning, Good morning. Yes. Yes. Yes, when I looked at her, you're like one of my favorite actresses from all time, Aww. from Cos back in Cosby yeah. Show, yeah. Um, to just recently Marlon. Yes. Like when you walked in, I was looking for your two kids behind you. <laughs> uh, it's just so real to me Thank you. when I see you. Thank you. Just congratulations Thank on you. all this success. It's been a blessing. It's definitely been unexpected. It hasn't looked the way I thought it would look. How did you think it was gonna look? I, you know, I mean, I imagine myself on Vogue and Cosmopolitan magazine and all, <laughs> of, all of those kinds of things in my 20s. You know, I imagined a very quick ascension, right? Mm. Because that's kind of the thing that you aspire to when you're young, you know what I mean? And your information is coming from regurgitated ideas of show business and right. stardom and all of that. But, you know, to be 100% transparent, I'm so thankful that it didn't happen that way because mm. I think I would have been a monster and I think I wouldn't have recovered and had the longevity that I've had. You know, God knew. He's like, no, she's not ready for that yet. She's not ready for that level of influence and success. Um, so I'm glad that he's made me the tortoise and not the hare. Mm -hmm, I like that. You know, when you was referencing, you know, the, the longevity that it took and not being on Vogue, I was sitting here thinking, my God, that you weren't an inquirer. <laughs> um, you know <laughs> yeah no for sure for sure i mean you know fortunately the mistakes that i made was long before social media you know what i mean like uh, yeah i haven't had i mean none of us have had a, a squeaky clean existence right mm -hmm. that we're, we're we're fallible right we're we're flawed but i think that i'm definitely grateful that i didn't i didn't have somebody who was recording my every move or scrutinizing everything i did and then blast putting me on blast the way that you know today people are are experiencing yeah because you started really young i did my very first job was the cosby show i was 15 years old wow. yeah. yeah did you get the ebgb's in the room with bill no Mm. I did not. Um, I had a really wonderful experience. Uh, it was my very first professional audition, and I booked it. And mm. it was the second season, the number one show in America. I was thrust wow. into the union. I had agents and managers pursuing me. Um, I was met with success very early, and he was very kind to me. I did a couple of episodes of that show, and then later on, Malcolm Jamal Warner did a spinoff called Here and Now, which... Mm -hmm. um, he wasn't he wasn't um, his character on Cosby, but it was a kind of a, like a similar idea. And, yeah. Uh, Mr. Cosby was the producer, the executive producer of that show, and I came on as a recurring character on that as well. It was hard to watch him and not be Malcolm. Yes. And I yes. think that's what what was wrong with what it because was wrong with it, it the would have Cosby been show was if he had been yeah, yeah Cosby show was so popular and it just took everybody's breath away. Everybody loved Malcolm. Everybody loved the family. I so as soon as he tried to go over and not be Malcolm, not be Theo. it was like who mm -hmm. you think you is? Yeah, no, that's true. Yeah. I I agree with you. And and Daryl <laughs> Chill Mitchell was on the show and um, he was amazing and super funny. So it was a great experience. I have nothing but. Um, good thoughts about those days and when people have asked me about it the one thing that I can say is obviously um, my heart breaks for the victims and um, for anyone who's been in that position period but I can say that it's sad to me that the entire legacy is erased and I only say that because so many people myself included were afforded the opportunity that they wouldn't have had through his um, really like position and mm -hmm. his influence and mm -hmm. his power, you know, we were, and I'm not just talking about actors, like Yvette Lee Bowser, who, um, for those who don't know, Yvette Lee Bowser created Living Single, mm. and she is the showrunner of um, Dear White People. Okay. And she was the first black woman to have a show on network television, period. And she was only in her 20s when she did it. And she started in the writer's room of uh, different world so I'm saying there's a lot of showrunners and writers and producers and directors people of color 
who were given that opportunity because of him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is, it, is it fair to say that Harvey Weinstein is kind of in the same boat? Provided a lot for a lot of people, <clears throat> could very well hurt a lot of people as well. Absolutely. I mean, you know, Harvey Weinstein was a gatekeeper, just right. like Bill Cosby was a gatekeeper. Point, and right. they, you know, abused their positions of power right. and took advantage of people. And that should never go unpunished or unscathed. I will say this, I and I've said this before, I would like justice to, to be dispensed unilaterally. Equally. You, you know what I mean? I like, like totally and there's understood. a lot of, there's people in current positions of high power mm. and um, they're still walking around Absolutely. free w right. with multiple accusations with no real follow up. So, gotcha. you know, I, I, that is what I will say about that. I feel like we're a more woke environment <laughs> and so little, yeah. little, little by little, everybody will be held accountable eventually. Like all bad will be brought to the light. Yes, Eventually. amen, amen, you know, that's you know, for sure. We're humans I, and I believe while, that, so. I believe that. But you know, I also believe in, extend, in extending grace. You know what I mean? Justice can be served, but we can also extend grace. Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. Now, you started so young, your parents had to play a major role. <laughs> 15 years old. Because I'm like thinking, okay, girl, you 15 years old. You on the Cosby show. You on the hottest show in America. Yeah. You have a long career. Your parents My have parents had to. My parents knew nothing about it. What? <laughs> Shut your <laughs> mouth. <laughs> Essence. Listen, people are cutting school and, you know, ditching school to go hang out. I was ditching school. Well, no, I didn't ditch school. I went after school. But I was, like, pursuing other things. I, I saw this notice on the bulletin board. I didn't tell anybody. I didn't tell any of my friends. Like, you know, in this day and age, it'd be like, I don't know, getting into somebody that says they're an Uber but not an Uber. and they, You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. it, it wasn't the safest choice. But mm -hmm. um, I read this notice on the bulletin board. I went to Hughes Moss Agency, which was the casting agent for the show, and explained to them that I fit the description on the, on the notice. And they set up an appointment. I went to this audition. He literally on the spot taught me how to how it works. I did it. He called me back. I did it again. And then I went to um, to Quicksilver in Queens and with like nine other girls and met Mr. Cosby. And he chose me from those other girls. Like there was a group of us and he chose me. But Dang. when I tell you, I didn't, I told my parents after they said wow. yes. After Do you, you got think? A job wow. in the show. <laughs> did you think well, they you were going to be like, bad at that point? <laughs> right. Did you think they were like not supportive or something? No. I, I mean, it's a long story. It'll it'll be in the book. Oh, oh okay, good. <laughs> you know, okay, it's good. A, it's a All long right. story, but my parents weren't necessarily. I, I started taking the New York City subways when I was younger than ten. Oh, to go to shut your mouth. From Brooklyn to Manhattan, I had a very different life than you are, Miss Tasha I -E -D -E 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 -P -P Henderson. D E E and you're independent. Yeah, I was very independent, yeah. and um, I had a lot of. I, I basically. From the time I was probably about seven or eight, my philosophy was is if I could do it myself, I was going to. Well, let's talk about ambitions. Yes. Because you're doing that. Yes. Yes, you're doing that. Ambitions, for those of you who don't know, is my latest and hottest show. It's mm -hmm. on OWN. It right. It comes on Tuesdays at 10 p.m. 9 central. Um, but ambitions is from power amazing producer Will Packer. Will Packer, yeah. Whom we love. And if you don't know, OWN is the network owned by Oprah, Oprah. Winfrey. Yes. Oprah Winfrey network. Who don't know OWN? I don't know. Somebody <laughs> living under a ditch. I don't know. What I like is so you and Robin Givens. Yes. She brought Robin Givens back. Yes. And you two are kind of like going. There's no kind of. We, <laughs> we are definitely enemies. Yeah. Not frenemies, enemies. Like it is downright hostile uh -huh. it's a hostile environment basically amara and stephanie my character is amara hughes hers is stephanie lancaster they were sorors right mm -hmm. so they went to spellman together she was my big sister and 20 something years ago her and her boyfriend took a break and, and amara got with him and okay. broke girl code. Mm -hmm. Yes, you did. And no, listen, I'm going to fully Shameful. disclose. <laughs> I'm going to fully it disclose it. <laughs> that I broke girl code. But after that, we end up married and we are still together. Mm -hmm. Now, we move out of Atlanta. We move to Birmingham, Alabama. And at the beginning of the show, if you haven't seen Ambitions, we have moved back to Atlanta. I am working with the U.S. Uh, Attorney's Office. Mm -hmm. And my husband works for big pharmaceutical corporations. Right, right. Um, and we come back because there's been infidelity in our marriage, and we are mm. working, kind of grassrooting ourselves, 
back to our roots and trying to work on our marriage. What we don't know is that we are thrust back into the life of Stephanie Lancaster, his ex, mm. my enemy, and she is married to the mayor of Atlanta, who mm. my office is investigating for corruption, and the mayor of Atlanta <laughs> is Evan Lancaster, played by Brian White. So from there, it's juicy. The, it's very it. juicy. It's very There's a juicy. lot of tangled webs. There's a lot of betrayal. There's a lot of there's a lot of sex scenes. You oh guys. right, oh, wow. but about tastefully those? done. It's okay. oh, tastefully. Done. Okay, and you have a prom- you're, tonight. You're gonna be in town I live am. tweeting. So matter of fact, how can somebody watch you live tweeting while you're watching tonight? Because it comes on own tonight at yes. 9 p.m. Yes. But you're gonna be at the Studio Movie Grill on Royal Lane. Yes, and you will be there. In- hosting. I'll be there hosting people. We are watching the show together. We're tweeting together. Right. I'll be there to take photos and answer some questions. Hopefully, we'll have a like brief Q&A, Q&A or something uh, like that. Okay. Um, yeah, but I, I'm here in Dallas for the day. All right. All right. What, what social media platform do they go so they can see you live? You're on Uh-oh. OWNS, right? I am on OWNS all day today in the stories um, and on Ambition's own on Instagram, but I'm also on my own. My handle is at Essence Says, S-A-Y-S, mm-hmm. on both Twitter and Instagram. Okay. All right. Are you an Oprah? Has she ever stopped by the set? She has not stopped by the set. Lady, oh, where are you at? <laughs> <laughs> well, she's about to go on tour. You better catch one of those tour dates. But main, the most important thing is to catch Ambitions tonight. Yes. Yes, yes because you're coming back. You, you took a little break. And t- we did. T- tonight you're so coming back. So this is back. the mid-season. F- um, this is the second part of the mid-season. So it's one season. We've done a total of 18 episodes. Tonight is episode 15. If you haven't seen the show, if you'd like to see the show, you can always catch up on the OWN app as okay. well. Yes. All right. And, you know, Will Packer is an ex. Excellent producer. He it, is. You know, I've been director. wanting to work with him for a really long time. He's an incredibly kind and smart man, and he's a lot of fun. I mean, mm-hmm. if you ever get a chance to be in a room with Will Packer, you will not regret it. I can see you in Girl Strip too. Oh, hello, hey now. Let's put that, that in the universe. Put that in the universe. Yes, Jesus. Yes. You gonna be you gonna be Tiffany's drunk friend that she bring with her. Oh my and get God. down just like she do. Okay. Let me tell you how much fun that would be. Yeah. Tiffany, yes. Is, I'm t- ready. Yeah. 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 Ready. Well, get ready tonight because Ambitions is on own and it comes on 9 p.m. Let's support my girl Essence. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah.